up, people? This is Gabriel from G Music PR. Uh, I'm gonna review today the this awesome microphone that I have right here. It's awesome. I love it. Great sounding mic. Uh, the name of this mic is Cam. Actually, that's the company Cam Instruments uh, Model C3. Actually, there's not a uh, a lot of reviews, almost none reviews about this mic. So I decided to to make a re uh, very short review about it and talk a little bit about the specs. I'm, I'm not uh, into that world, you know, that much because I'm still learning. I'm just beginning in this knowledge of studio things studio quality on the stuff always being like a live performer so this is kind of new to me I've been on studios before but not not doing like a little setup on my on my house so uh, this is awesome I love it very inspiring and having a microphone like this helps a lot so you're gonna be talking about it um, Actually, this mic uh, cost me like 120, 125 bucks. I think it was including the shipping. Uh, I bought it on eBay. So, like I said, there's not a lot of reviews, people talking that much about this mic around, but I was. I just dumped on it because I was, I was doing a lot of research about a mic that will help me, you know, record all my the um, all of my ideas and videos, and you know, have that studio quality sound. But I don't want it to sound that harsh and with too much lows, you know, all that kind of stuff. I was I was like knowing what I was looking for. So I stumped into this mic. The most thing I like about it and it's detail on the box it says in here smooth and natural highs. That's uh, one of the things I like because I have a when, when I sing sometimes I kind of like a have a harsh sound on, on, on the voice so I like the this uh, particular uh, characteristic of this mic so and it just helps me a lot when I'm recording you know get rid of the harsh frequencies and get smooth out you know talking about the high frequencies so uh, I'm running before I, uh, I talk a little bit about the specs of this mic I'm running this mic through uh, a Focusrite Scarlett Solo 3rd Gen. Love that. Just love this interface. It sounds so clear. Very good uh, and clean uh, preamps. So it records so great. Both instrument and microphone. And uh, basically I have it on basically uh, after the, the interface you would go to the iPhone adapter and then to my my iPhone. So that's basically it. Uh, pretty simple setup, but it sounds so great. Uh, going back to the mic, uh, it says that okay, like let's let's uh, see what what it comes on the box. It, it comes with uh, with a letter bag, uh, some adapter, the, so you can adapt this one to the scissor stands, so you can clip it on the on your desktop, or you can just use it like this with a uh, ordinary mic stand, like this one. Uh, it comes with this filter pretty nice especially when you have to record 
some voice pretty close to the mic to get that proximity effect when you get close to it like right now proximity effect uh, so I like that kind of I like this filter for that to be closer and I don't have that pop thing uh, uh, actually the specs says in here um, Okay, this is basically the the mic. Yeah, actually it comes with the with the shock mount too. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty sturdy, well built. It's okay. Uh, comes like this. It's a C3 studio condenser microphone from Cam. Uh, Let's go a little bit detail about the the specs. It says it has one inch gold cover diaphragm. Right there. Sounds pretty nice. Um, says here, smooth and natural highs, like I said. Right there. Uh, it has a uh, 20 to 20 kilohertz frequency response, pretty standard. Uh, for a studio microphone attenuation switch is right here from 0 dB to negative 10 dB that means decibels they will go to 0 to minus 10 decibels like right now you can get a different sound and different tone with the same mic using this uh, this knob in here you can use it for something louder it kind of sounds like a dynamic mic kind of thing that kind of vibe not exactly the same but it, it will do the work though so I'll go back to the zero DB right there uh, actually uh, going back to the specs it has a bass roll off switch so it goes to down to negative 10 uh, db to at 100 hertz so basically right now it's normal zero db and i'm gonna do the bass rollout switch now sounds a little bit different a little bit, a, a little bit more front sounding a little bit more uh, mid section you, will, you know it pops up a little bit more I like to, to use this uh, this mode when I'm recording the guitar especially acoustic guitar because it picks up all that mid sections of the guitar while I mix it with the preamp built-in preamp of the, of the of the guitar so this mic I just put it on the, on the front and just picks all the resonance around the, the guitar but especially it takes all those uh, mid highs and mid frequencies pretty well I love it uh, that's why I'm using it right now I'm kind of learning how to use it still so I'm going back to the normal mode right there a little bit more bass and highs and gets that uh, mid section go low a little bit it sounds nice uh, actually it's very pretty much sensitive uh, low noise for sure uh, I don't know it's pretty much low noise especially in this room I don't have a treated room, I just started to uh, just uh, dedicate a little bit spot on the room uh, to make all these recordings, you know, these music recordings of my ideas, uh, cover songs that you will see on my, on my channel. You can just go over there if you like them uh, and watch them and comment whatever you want. If you like it, good. If you don't like it, it's okay too. 
there's always room for learning and get better so um, what else uh, sure it requires like every uh, every um, condenser microphone it requires uh, more voltage to run so it has a it requires 48b phantom power um, like uh, this uh, focus right scarlet solo it has a 48 volt uh, mode you just tap it on and it runs smoothly also I'm running on the air mode that's kind of like a some vintage and a little bit more clear and airy sound I just love that mode I can't just take it out <laughs> it's pretty great uh, uh, it's a cardioid pattern, not super cardioid, not, not only omnidirectional. It's a cardioid pattern. It's pretty, pretty okay for uh, what I use for. Uh, and it close to the shock mount. Like this one is pretty nice, well built, like I said. Um, that's basically it. Uh, uh, comparing to this mic that I have here, I started all this recording thing when I was not formally doing it like I'm doing now. I started with the with this thing, the blue snowball ice. I don't know, it served me served me well to record all my ideas, but there was there as there's always a point that you say, okay, I need something better. So I kinda went to to the blue jetty nano this thing handle wonders the only thing I don't like from it is that I don't have a physical knob to control the game so I have a control knob for for the monitor is very good I I love the all the things on this mic it sounds pretty good it has a little bit like a noise to it that it gets on the way but it's not something that bothers a lot it's perfect for recording ideas too but I had to go to something much better and I went to this one why why did I choose the Cam C3 uh, one of the things that attract me the most apart from talking about the that uh, the clarity and the smooth highs and pretty much the rest of the frequencies are the same uh, I compare it to different brands that are very known uh, no, like for example Audio Technica 2020 I was about to buy that one but I noticed that it was very harsh on the highs even with the pop filter uh, it was not good for me uh, actually I think I checked I checked the road but it was a little bit out of my <laughs> comfort zone <laughs> actually I didn't have that much money to buy it's, it's around like 350 400 the most so um, what else I was checking the MXL actually I tried to to buy the MXL 770 uh, it was great sounding mic I, I loved it it was fine but uh, the only thing that I didn't like that much it, it would uh, emphasize too much on the lows and the mid lows and I don't know I thought it would sound a little bit more like muddy for my can style so actually I checked the 990 the MXL 990 it, it sounds good too but it was lacking it was like backwards it was kind of like lacking on the lows a little bit it was emphasizing more the the mid mid highs and highs but the low not I don't know not much uh, basically checking uh, different uh, budget microphones to start with 
I finally got the, to this one. Actually, I, I found the the cam, uh, the cam, it, the, the name is the crystal. Cam crystal is a large diaphragm microphone. And I like that one. I like the, the, the characteristic of it. it. The company was like promising. They will sound like a TLM 103, I, I think it is. I think it is uh, from uh, Neumann. That's a, those are very high end. I would like to have one of those, but I don't have, the, I don't have the money yet. But I hope we'll have it soon. Uh, and, and this one, uh, and that's the the one of the things that I think that was the main reason at the end that I bought this mic. It, they they were promising that it would sound like a U87. You know the classical high-end microphone that you find in most of famous studios around the world. The world high-end studios, uh, you can find that one. It's a very good one, very good workhorse. I've I've record actually my first recording on uh, here uh, on some studio that I went. Uh, they have a. Uh, they had a U87 on the rack. It's so, so freaking killer. But actually having this one, it, I can say that it sounds so similar. Uh, they, they promised that it will sound very similar, like the U87 in Neumann. And it does, for my opinion. Uh, I don't know if you had the, sh share the same opinion. You can uh, share uh, with me your opinion on the on the comments. You can uh, tell me all, uh, everything about this mic. If you wanna know where I buy it, I'm gonna leave a link on the description box. Also, I'm gonna leave uh, my information from my Instagram account so you can. Uh, busy me there uh, like I said I'm G music PR I make uh, right now I'm making music covers you know in English and Spanish too because actually I, I actually talk Spanish I'm from Puerto Rico uh, so but I like to sing in English a lot so, so I decided to go back and forth uh, I hope you like my content. Uh, just support me. Uh, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can receive more notification or videos like this one on some other stuff that we'll make in the future. Uh, thank you for listening, for listening to to this uh, review. Uh, I just thank you. Like I said, you have comments. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and thumbs up. So I see you soon. I see you later and take care. Gracias, gente. Sí,